Wasps home league form this season had yielded 33 out of a possible 35 points before this game and any trepidation Gloucester might have felt was soon justified despite an early penalty from Billy Twelve Trees. Jimmy Gopper somehow finding the room to score in the corner after a lengthy look from the TMO. But at the end of the first quarter Gloucester hit back and they refused to go away again for the rest of the game. James Hook, a late replacement for the injured Billy Burns, providing the extra man. That rather took the wind out of Wasps sails, but their next try just before half-time confirmed Gopper's all-round influence on the outcome. The centre steering an impressive line-out drive and then plunging over for his second try to pass 200 points for the season. His conversion made it Jimmy 15, Gloucester 10 at the break, but the Cherry and White's next response was delayed only by the interval. David Halafanua providing a physical presence in the line that Christian Wade couldn't match. At 15 all, Wasps were in a game, but they usually find an answer at the Rico, and this time it was one of the tries of the weekend. From Alex Reader's break, Danny Cipriani and Thomas Young fashioned a try for Willie LaRue on his home debut. That appeared to snuff out Gloucester's resistance until 10 minutes from time, when moments after being denied a try by the TMO, Matt Scott left no room for doubt to continue a happy weekend for Scottish rugby players everywhere. It was clearly going to take something special for the home side to finish the job, but they had the man to do it. Gopeth at the helm again to complete his hat-trick, before missing the conversion to prove that no one is perfect. The Kiwi had to settle for 25 points in the game, but the five that finally gave Wasp breathing space came once the clock had turned red. Wade capping off another maximum return for the leaders, but they've rarely had to work harder to preserve their impressive home record.